What's going on everybody? Well I thought that uh, I've had some requests and I thought that today we'd check some trigger pulls on a few different manufacturers and stuff of some, some handguns. This shouldn't uh, take all that long. One thing I will tell you, any of these handguns that have got the uh, Glock like um, what the hell that thing called? You know that, that safety there on the trigger? You have to, I have to get this trigger pull pretty low on this trigger to be able to depress that before this trigger, of course, will start breaking and coming back. So if you see me kind of wrestling with it a little bit, that's what's going on. First one we're going to do is the Springfield Armory XD45. Take a look at what she's doing. Now this has got the grip safety, so I'm going to have to hold it this way. This is not okay. Put this in here. Start pulling it back. That and right there, five pounds. 10 ounces. I figure we'll do a couple of different ones. So that first one there was 5 pounds, 10 ounces. Try it again here. Five nine. Last but not least, another five ten. So around five point nine, five point or five. 0.9 or 5.10 ounces. So what would that be? About a 5.95 average on the three. So <clears throat> that's the Springfield XD 45. Next up, Glock 22. Do it the same way. This thing tends to want to slide around a little bit more on this Glock trigger. For whatever reason, slicker or what have you. Five pounds, fourteen ounces. <laughs> There's six pounds, seven ounces. Like I said, this thing is sliding around quite a bit more. It's wanting to <clears throat> roll up and down on the face of this Glock trigger right in here. You see how low this is. I have to really get this down uh, toward the bottom of the trigger to get that depressed and then try and start pulling it. And I try and start pulling this back to get more of a straight back pull. So, the car pistols are not a problem because they don't have this stuff on them. Six, eight. One, 
one more on this one right here. Six ten point five. So I mean these are advertised at five and a half pound triggers. Well, I'm not seeing that on this scale anyway. Block twenty seven. Same deal. Get that thing coming back. Five pounds, fourteen and a half ounces. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if I kept this trigger pull down toward the bottom of that trigger and didn't try and move it up toward the center of the trigger, it would probably pull lighter, just practically just out of leverage, but I'm trying to get this thing moved to the center of the trigger. Hence why it might be reading a little higher. Like that one there is six pounds eight ounces. Let me try that. That one was six eight. I'll keep this thing down here toward the bottom of that trigger. I bet you that thing's going to pull lighter. Stands to reason, doesn't it? <clears throat> Five eleven. So if I I depress the trigger safety, I have to have it way down here. You guys probably can't even see what I'm doing. Got to have it way down here. Then I try and slide it up to around in here to get the reading. Well, if I keep it down there, um, it'll pull lighter than if I pull it from right around in here. But, I mean, that kind of stands to reason. So anyway, that's the Glocks. Now I've got a Ruger SR9 Compact. It's got the trigger safety on it as well. But I don't think this thing likes to slide around on this trigger like it does that Glock. Let's see here. There goes my battery compartment cover. Piece of crap. That one right there was seven pounds, five ounces. When I did this one earlier, I thought it read a little bit less than that, but we'll see. There we go. Damn piece of shit. Nope, seven pounds. Seven point five ounces. See what this talker's doing? Piece of crap. Irritating. Irritating to me. I know this is very boring. You know, not doing much talking or anything, but I'm trying to just get through this, trying not to make my video so long, and uh, kind of get through it. I see that one read five pounds, ten ounces. Uh, five ten on this one here is going to warrant another pull. Maybe because I'm holding the gun a little stirt steadier, gripping it a little more aggressively. Five pounds, thirteen point two ounces. So anyway, that's the Ruger SR9 compact. Now we got the car. CW9. This one here don't have no trigger bullshit so I can just put it right in the center of the trigger and 
start pulling her back. Five pounds fourteen. And five pounds fourteen point five. When I did my test pulls on these, these little cars seem to pull much more consistently. That one right there is six pounds even. So, and the triggers on those are very smooth. Now here's a little car P380. About the same as, as his big brother, 510. <clears throat> 5 pounds, 6.5. And... Five eight. So I tell you, I mean, just as far as using this trigger pull scale, you know, pulling on these two right here was much nicer. These seem to be very consistent, and I think a lot of the trouble with these, me keeping able to keep my consistency, is having to dink around with this uh, trigger safety. You know, having to put it on that, trying to get it slid up and stuff. I just I can't measure it as consistently. But it'll get it'll give an idea of where they're at. But the triggers on these cars is just very, very, very smooth. It just starts no hiccups, nothing. It's just it's just smooth all the way back till it breaks, which I really like. So that's it. A few of you guys was asking about you know checking some trigger pull of some of the guns that I have. So I just thought I'd run down here and, and kind of do that. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day, and we will talk to you guys later. See ya.